What's good with it? All my faithful subscribers, all my beautiful fans, all my real street niggas, real trill niggas, real niggas from the motherfucking hood, real niggas from the mud, real niggas from the struggle, you know what I'm saying? All my niggas out there holding it down, you know what I'm saying? I want to go ahead and thank y'all. I'm about to give y'all my 2020 summary. This is my summary for all the shit that didn't happen in 2020. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a little bit of everybody. I mean, like, any and everybody that uh that had anything to do with 2020, had anything to do with uh, anything I covered, you know. So, especially out of all videos, I need y'all to like, subscribe, and definitely comment on this video. So, we're going to start off with the beginning from where it all started with. Mo 3, Long Live 3, man. Rest in peace, man. A good spirit, man. A grateful heart, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and a soldier, you feel me? And I just wish he would have had the chance to really battle in a war like he wanted to. You know, I felt like he was snaked a little bit, but we we, we going to cover that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, man. Y'all know Mo3 was killed, shot down. A couple different suspects running along, you know. But the main suspect that they have for the killer is Key. Juan D. White, you know, the homosexual, transsexual serial killer, you know what I mean, basically H-S-T-S-C-S-S-S, -S -S -S. you know what I mean, that's the abbreviation for that shit, you know, you know what I'm saying, we got, uh, we got the other dude, the Rodriguez dude, you know, a different suspect, you got Trap Boy Freddy, who, who seem unbothered, and I, I think that's because he has the it's, it's circulating. He has the littlest to do with the killing of Mo Three, but Boosie just dropped a song affiliation, so he's just as guilty. You feel me? And then without with, with that being said, you know we got Yellow Beezy, who uh then hopped on a plane and moved to Cancun. He don't want no smoke, no problems. He laying low. He ain't teasing. He ain't aggravating. Yeah, man, I'm, about, I'm, you know, getting the oil change, you know, keep my shit running. But yeah, man, so Boosie, Boosie just dropped a song saying, you hop on that plane, I'll shoot that plane down. Man, bruh, bruh must have one that got, Boosie must know about that nigga running to motherfucking Cancun, hopping on that plane. You feel me? Then not only that, you know, uh, people been circulating on the internet that uh, he did Trap Boy Freddy in the affiliation song. You know, Trap Boy said, Freddie made a pause like, nigga, you ain't trying to jump in that water, nigga, don't swim, nigga. You feel me? Like, basically, like, saying, like, hey, yellow hit, yellow hit Mo, you come and fuck with him, I'm going to hit you, nigga. And, of course, it was typical Trap Boy Freddy style to shoot and hurry up and get up through. He wasn't trying to shoot it off them niggas. He wasn't trying to make sure he hit none. He just wanted to throw that little shit out. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, they ain't necessarily a whole ass nigga move. We ain't too for sure on all that. We can't discuss all that. Because, you know what? You know, Trap Boy Freddy probably ain't think it was that serious, you know? Or that's probably all he could do. We don't know. But what we do know is Mo3 was snaked out. Mo3 was snaked out, man. Pete Gang, listen to this. Mo3 kept trying to fight them niggas. He kept trying to, you know, do other little shit. You know, even after the death of his homeboy, Roy Lee. Who I've been told was was this real live homeboy? You feel me? Like, yeah, he actually tried to. You feel me? Because the lamest thing a nigga can do is kill a nigga he used to hang with when he don't have to. The lamest thing a nigga could do is kill a nigga that he used to hang with when it ain't no money involved. The lamest thing a nigga could do to a nigga he used to hang with. And snake that nigga out when he doing his own thug fizzle already. Mo3 was beefing with them boys before he even got famous, man. You feel me? So that's where the snake shit come from, man. Y'all niggas had ultimate opportunities. And we don't give a fuck. Shit goes how it goes in the street. But nah, I, me personally, I don't I don't like that that uh that uh that back door niggas that you used to hang with. You probably you you niggas probably slept in the same room, nigga. If you sleep in the same room with a nigga, it ain't on no jail shit, nigga. Y'all damn near family, nigga. I'm from the hood, nigga. I don't even trust niggas like that, nigga. My mama now, ain't, bro. My mama now ain't even let motherfuckers come in my house from the hood. Is it? You feel me? What'd you say? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, my bad. You know I'm getting the vote me this shit, right? You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, man. Real talk. So that's 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 where the snake shit come from, bro. Then on top of that, man, that boy Roy Lee, that boy Roy Lee, man, he. He asked to fight you. You snuck him in. He asked to fight you, man. You niggas just did hella whole ass shit. You know what I mean? Now, Mo, now Yellow Beasy got shot five times. So, to be honest, if I was Yellow yellow, yellow Boy, I would say the same thing. You know I mean? Fuck it. I mean, shit happened, shit happened. But shit, you niggas shot me now. I mean, whether I was wrong or right, I have been hit. You feel me? So, you can't talk down on Yellow 3. But at the same time, you know, all this extra shit, all this other shit that y'all boys talking about that y'all boys doing is it, flaw. Everything else is flaw, man. And I hope y'all niggas can come together. Because to be honest, man, I really want to try Boy Freddy to make it. You know, uh, out of all them niggas. Yeah. I fucked with Trap Boy Freddy out of all them niggas. I really want him to make it. But not like this. And to be honest, I be watching this nigga interview. He ain't mean it like this neither, man. So, shit, man. I just had to come and keep it 100, man. Because all this blogging shit funny. And all this other shit funny. But let me walk y'all deep into what really be going down, man. You feel me? See, these rap niggas ain't tripping off of what these bloggers post. The bloggers keep saying, if y'all niggas want snitching, we want post nothing. That's not all the way true. You feel me? That's not all the way true because y'all bloggers post shit and that's cool. But when y'all bloggers post shit and it go past y'all lame ass fan base, it go past all the fuck ass niggas and started making it on my timeline. You know, as a rich rap nigga, real nigga, that shit started making it to people that I know that shit come to my household. Then yeah, I'm blaming you bloggers. You feel me? So yeah, you bloggers need to watch what y'all post and y'all fans. Because y'all the main source. Y'all the meat. Pussy ass niggas. The fans, these niggas in the comments, y'all need to also watch what y'all click on and, and just be a little bit more G about what y'all doing, man. Because let's be 100. Y'all did Quando Rondo wrong. Quando Rondo did what he was supposed to do. King Bond did what he was supposed to do. Everybody did what they supposed to do. The shit just turned out foul. Let's just be all the way 100. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. King Bond pressed down no hands with the guns. Quando Rondo uh, got stole on. He ain't reaching his pocket, grab a gun. He even had a gun on him. You feel me? He could have had a gun on. He could have had a security guard on. You know what I mean? His boy came out shot because it's hella Chicago goons. I'm going to do the same damn thing. You feel me? Now, I would have, me personally, I would have tried not to shoot to kill. You know, even in that situation. You know, maybe maybe I'm not as dumb or maybe I'm not as hard as little Timmy. Either one. I mean, they're not as dumb and not as hard as little Timmy to go for the kill shot. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Put some liquid in there, man. Hey, hey, is my inner freeze running low? Is my inner freeze running low? I kind of smell it. Oh, yeah. Should get my shit together. You know, ain't nothing like having a, having a white man who look like he should be doing some type of computer job or something. Like, ain't nothing like having that type of white man do your motherfucker oil change. You know what I mean, nigga, look like he supposed to be doing your job. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. So let's be 100, man. And for real, for real, Quando Rondo, for real, for real, you kind of lame for flexing that whole situation, man. Them boys talking down. You won. Leave it to them. Come and see me, man. Come and see me, man. Because you talking down on Vaughn, and that's wrong of you, nigga. Because Vaughn tried to throw them hands with you, nigga. So you shouldn't have shit to say about Vaughn, nigga. Now all them other niggas, fuck them. Y'all niggas can whoop the whoop. But you, I swear to God, nigga, Quando Rondo, you better not say shit about King Vaughn being a real nigga, grown man, escaping his own people to come and throw them hands with you, nigga. And no, you ain't tell him to shoot. But you got to you gotta get that nigga the honor, the glory, and the praise for doing that shit, nigga. That is a shy rat goon. Demon, one of the main niggas, whether he was with it or not with it, nigga, he one of the main figures, and he still risked all that to come throw them hands with your ass, nigga. So, Quando Rondo, you can say fuck all them niggas, but but chill out, nigga. 
on, on, on. As a matter of fact, you don't got to chill out. You can talk shit about King Von, but give him his props too, nigga. That's all I'm talking about, nigga. That's a fair persuasion, nigga. Quando Rondo, black ass nigga, the black ass nigga, dark skin nigga, the dark skin nigga. We know we bigger than that nigga. At least get that nigga that glory in the praise of coming out throwing your hands in. And all the other chicken boys talking about shit. I'm right with you because you did what you were supposed to do. Everybody did what they were supposed to do, except for the niggas that was supposed to be having bond back with them straps and with that protection and with that advice. Nigga, them the only niggas that fucked up, nigga. Them police officers is the worst, nigga. Because some of the fact they hit them, ain't nobody talking about 12, man. Ain't nobody talking about 12, nigga. Did 12 even have a gun pointing at their ass besides that little nigga on the ground? And he was just swinging that shit, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Cash Carter, GTG. Yeah, I'm coming with that real street shit, that real news that people don't want to hear, nigga. Yeah, and all you niggas that ain't really from the street, y'all always going to have a little bit to say something about a little bit what I said, but the real niggas that know real shit and just know about being righteousness, they going to be in these comments right now agreeing with me on some big boy shit, nigga. I'm having my business bringing y'all this real trill shit, nigga. And Sauce Walker, Blicka Blicka, man, all that shit sound weak and flawed. Blicka Blicka, you all talking about people, grandmas and shit, nigga. Nigga, you a lame ass nigga for that shit, nigga. That shit ain't even that big, nigga. You know what I mean? Handle that shit regular, nigga. You know what I mean? You see how Sauce Walker handling that shit. So once again, Sauce Walker is leading us with the internet with how we supposed to move and how we supposed to act. Even though I do love that nigga, Blicka Blicka. I'm just happy he made it. I hope don't nobody get killed, nobody get shot. Because, man, it seems like any nigga come out of Houston that, that really get to do his own thing. Is a is a live ass, entertaining ass nigga. Now all the other niggas who came in with agendas of big corporations and people like that, I don't know about all that. But the B one hundred, man, them boys who coming out of Houston, Texas, with independent boy, them boys doing they motherfucking thing, man. Real talk, man. And I hope that shit get be blanked out, man, because I like to see blicker blicker, man. I like to see the I like to see blicker blicker out. South Walker, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing what you're doing, cause they gonna try to throw you out. Damn, Sauce Walker, this whole time you've been pressing down on niggas in the industry, right when you want to really become a rapper, right when you want to really start fucking with niggas, right when you really want to start shaking niggas' hand, right when you really want to start being a businessman, these puss-ass niggas want to try you from every single fucking angle, Sauce Walker, I feel you, I'm just be making these videos talking with you to be funny, nigga, Sauce Walker, man, I feel you, man. Soon as you start doing the right thing, put a nigga's on. You even start a campaign where you a rich ass millionaire, suwu that big bird, pee ad nigga, and you talking about throwing the hands with nigga, whether it's with the gloves or the fist. You started all that shit for real, bruh. And you getting played with and fuck with and talk down on, man. That shit crazy, so I was I feel bad for you, man. But you need to upgrade your artist. And Sada Baby was one of the biggest moves you did. And, and, and goddamn, I'm proud of you for it. But I, I, I see you staying loyal with your team, man. Do what you got to do, man. But yeah, Rizzo, Rizzo. You just need to go ahead and catch you a body. Rizzo, Rizzo, go ahead and catch you a body. When I first heard you, you know, I hit you up on the ground. You know, everything was cool. Everything was gutter. The way you rapped, I figured you was a lot harder than how you portray yourself to be like this cool, fun nigga on your rap video. You know what I'm saying? And then your interviews make it seem like you just a regular cool nigga. But the way people talk about you, they be saying like you a killer, you a goon. You know what I mean? So go ahead, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, get you a body real <laughs> quick, man, because these boys talking now. You feel me? And who else, man? NBA young boy, you, you. Everything you doing now gonna bite you in your ass when you get older. I'm just saying it like that. Everything in your career now gonna bite you in your ass when you get older. But I like how you handling things, cause shit, you got some grown man in you. Shit, I like that song you dedicated to uh, Jay Prince Jr. You feel me? That let me know where your real mindset is. You know. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep it quiet on that. But yeah, man, hey, I'm just bringing it in, man. You know. And uh, another thing, that Dallas spiritual reader, she fake and she fraud, man. She fake and she fraud, man. Don't even. Go with that and all these other bloggers, yeah. And let me say, I know that since I started making these videos, all y'all other bloggers, man, y'all been trying to, like, be in competition, man. Since when was it ever cool? Since when was it ever fun to be in competition with other bloggers, man? Yeah, hold on, wait. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Since we was talking down on other bloggers, even cool. You feel me? 
Like, I have never seen y'all even really bring other people up besides, like, the main dogs, like, academics in them. But it seems like y'all niggas trying to be the first to shit that everybody be lying about finding news and doing research. Like, y'all ain't just get it from a uh, 1.5 a thousand uh sub subscriber low low youtube ass blogger nigga y'all stole his shit they gonna comment on y'all shit come on teasley i seen that shit i seen that shit teasley you know what i mean the real tv man come on man you be coming first but not always man yeah man so let, 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 let's let's let us bloggers join together because to be honest man you know all these rappers coming together talking down on they and they the one snitching you feel me? So let's come together and get this shit going, man. Duke, Pharaoh, everybody, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this shit going down, man. Go ahead and check in, subscribe, man. Big Boy Video 2021. We're going to do it even better. You know what's going down? Press that button, baby.